It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 7th of June. I'm Michael Groff. Get ready for the excessive heat, the hottest temperatures we've had so far this year for the rest of this week and this weekend. Very little relief in sight, although we do have a couple of interesting wrinkles in the forecast. A little bit of moisture sneaking into the state tomorrow and Thursday. And we might even see a brief sprinkle or a light shower across south central Arizona. But in terms of measurable rain, that doesn't appear all that likely. But could we see those signs of the monsoon beginning to crank up way out there toward the end of the forecast period? Well, we'll talk about all of that as we dive in here. But first, we'll take a look at the almanac from yesterday. 105 degrees the afternoon high. 79 was the morning low. The normal high, 102. The normal low, 76. And as we look outside right now at 6.50 a.m., a few clouds around this morning. And we are at 82 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points crept up to 46. Relative humidity, 28%. The winds are light and the barometer is rising. The weather pattern ongoing here across the southwest looks very summer-like, doesn't it? We've got the old 588 ridge building across northern Mexico, Arizona, and New Mexico. But as that ridge continues to build north and intensify, the heat will be building with it. Although the clockwise flow around that high might bring in just a little bit of moisture into parts of Arizona tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, maybe even an isolated shower or storm over the higher terrain. On the watch warning map, we've got those excessive heat watches in effect from southeast California through southern Nevada, much of western and south central Arizona included in that, as well as the Phoenix area. And that's in effect from 10 a.m. tomorrow morning through 8 p.m. Monday. Would not be surprised to see the National Weather Service upgrade that to an excessive heat warning by later today. Speaking of that, excessive heat warnings and heat advisories over a good portion of Texas. Also, a severe thunderstorm watch in sections of Oklahoma and Arkansas this morning. Speaking of severe weather, the convective outlook for today, we've got that enhanced risk of severe storms, level 3 out of 5. From around Grand Island, Nebraska, south and eastward toward Topeka, Kansas, the broader severe weather risk extends from eastern Wyoming all the way over toward Pittsburgh. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts here in Phoenix? Yeah, nothing. Statewide, we could see just a little bit of light rain down there over parts of southeast Arizona with some moisture sneaking in, as we've been talking about. But will that have any implication on the warm-up that we're experiencing? Eh, probably not, but we'll talk about it here in more detail as we get to the models. Have a look at it. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that ridge building in here across the southwest. Those 500 millibar heights continue to climb. And so what it means for us down at the surface today, mostly sunny and a bit warmer. Highs 104 to 107. Tonight, mostly clear sky overnight lows, mid-70s to low 80s. And then tomorrow, that ridge continues to build north and intensify as it does here across the southwest. So mostly sunny sky and downright hot. Highs 106 to 110 here in Phoenix. With that ridge building northward, the flow aloft may start to turn a little bit more out of the south. And so some very shallow moisture will start to seep into southern Arizona by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Maybe even enough so for some widely scattered showers, thunderstorms, maybe some Virga creeping in toward northern Mexico and bumping up against the southeastern border of our state. And then by tomorrow night and into early Thursday, that moisture surge may push just a little bit further to the north, enough so that we could start to see some clouds coming in here to south central Arizona. Maybe some of our guidance even showing a, a little bit of verga, maybe a sprinkle or two here in south central Arizona. Nothing to get too excited about, but if you see a raindrop or two for Wednesday night, Thursday morning here in Phoenix or across south central Arizona, don't be surprised. It's not going to amount to anything. But just something, kind of a sign of the times, a preview of what may be to come here in a few weeks. So by Thursday, the sky turns partly sunny with a bit more moisture around. Humidity levels will sneak up ever so slightly. But the ridge still rather intense. Upper heights here around 590, 591 decameters. So high temperatures, yeah, likely pushing 110 degrees. And despite the fact that we'll have some clouds around, that shouldn't slow down the heat. And then on Friday, mostly sunny, highs 108 to 112. So yes, very hot. Over the weekend, recent model runs have suggested that this ridge may not get quite as intense as originally thought. But even if it doesn't, thanks to troughing over the Pacific Northwest, it's still going to be a very toasty weekend. The national blend of models puts us at 114 for both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but we're going with a temperature range of 109 to 113, and I know what you're saying right now. What difference does it make, Mike? 112, 113, 114, 
That's just the difference between hot and damn hot. And I understand. But we're just talking about minutia here, the model details, the discrepancies. So either way, yes, it's going to be a hot weekend with dry conditions prevailing. Then as we go to Monday, evidence that the ridge gets knocked down just a little bit faster and high temperatures may actually dip to around or even below 110 degrees, but with no real change in the overall weather pattern, sunny sky dry conditions continue. Now, here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 14th. And again, ridging is sitting to the east of us, so that still looks pretty hot and dry. Maybe not quite as hot as what we experienced this week, however. Then, kind of interesting here, this is going out 10 days to Thursday the 16th. And we've got a pretty decent trough there just off the Pacific Northwest Coast or along the West Coast. And a rather substantial 591 ridge across the Plain States. We'd be kind of between those systems, more of a southerly flow developing. And lo and behold, a few showers and thunderstorms across parts of eastern Arizona, if that's right. Certainly synoptically, that would be a favorable setup for that. But this is 10 days out, and more than likely, that scenario is going to change. All right, looking at rainfall for Phoenix, this is coming off of the GFS Ensemble, and this goes out through the 21st of June. And you got quite a few members that are now starting to advertise some very light precipitation. And when I say very light, the Ensemble mean still is only around a tenth of an inch. But given that this is still really the driest part of the year, this is an encouraging trend that we're seeing on the models. The European is coming in line with this as well. So maybe out there toward late next week or the following week, we could start to maybe see signs of the monsoon getting closer to us. All right, and looking at temperatures off the national blend of models, yeah, this isn't exactly encouraging. Again, it's got us at 114 for Saturday and Sunday. Not sure we make it there, but either way, you know, 112, 113, 114, it's going to be downright hot and it will stay hot all the way through much of next week. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions and suggestions. Music fans, check it out. My streaming station available 24-7, 365. It is called KMGX. Whereupon we play a ton of music. Have a lot of fun while doing that. And it's myself and the one and only, my one and only Michelle, involved in the programming and operation of that station. So do check it out. I leave a link to it in the description. All right. Thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. You guys be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. And have yourselves an amazing Tuesday. Thank you.